Tonight, we know the officer was protected by their vest and is expected to be okay. Glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden, in for Lisa Bell tonight. Melbourne police tell us the officer who was shot as a 26-year veteran of the force, and today was the officer's 26th anniversary. The shooting happened this evening in Melbourne at the Suburban Extended Stay Hotel near the airport. And that is where we find News 6's Troy Campbell, who has more on what led up to the gunfire. The Melbourne Police Department says the officer's bulletproof vest helped save his life. If you take a look, you can see one of their officers still parked by the entrance of this long term stay hotel. Copy, shot fired. Yeah, I got that. We have one injured, Melbourne. Dispatch radio recordings revealing what Melbourne law enforcement officers were told was occurring at the suburban extended stay on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in Melbourne on Friday. We can't pass the door, they're shooting through the door. 10 4, they shot through the door. The recording references possible weapons inside of the room. The situation escalating quickly, resulting in a Melbourne officer being shot. Police say the officer's body armor prevented the bullet from severely injuring him. On dispatch recording, law enforcement is heard saying an open 911 call was placed from inside one of the rooms, resulting in their deputies showing up, knocking on the door. Once the officer was rushed to the hospital, Melbourne police say the SWAT team was called in and the two suspects surrendered. It's still unclear which type of gun the suspects used to shoot through the door, striking the officer. Investigators have also not released the names of the two suspects or the officer that was injured. In Melbourne, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.